welcome to crazy coders club in this section we are going to develop the simple and effective landing page using html5 and css3 let us go through this landing page it contains a logo a navigation bar a tagline a paragraph and a button this section is split into two parts in the first part we are going to develop this navigation bar with a logo and these navigation elements in the second part we are going to add this tagline section and design this beautiful button before starting the project i want to tell you something this video is designed for beginners who want to understand the basic usage of html and css let us start the project first we will create the project folder i will name it as landing page i want two images for the project let us grab these images and put it inside the project folder now project folder is ready open the visual studio code and drag this file into it close the welcome message now i'll create html and css files index.html and style.css let us bring the basic html template using a shortcut this is the text which i have already typed to avoid repetitive typing let us just paste it in our html document since our company name is technica let us change the title to technica okay let us open the index.html file you can see the title here and i'll start writing html code the entire landing page is wrapped up inside the header so header element inside the header element there will be a navigation element that is a nav bar and inside the nav bar i am going to have a division with a class name container inside the division first element will be my image that is a logo source will be logo.png since the image is in the same folder just specify the name if at all the image is not rendered it is going to show alternative text that is company logo okay after that i am going to use an unordered list with a class name main nav this unordered list contains all my list items so let us close the tag okay list item in inside the list item i am going to have an anchor tag hyperlink reference will be it is hash because it is pointing nowhere the first one will be name just copy the text and create multiple instances of the same so yeah i am going to have a five navigation elements second one will be about us the third one is services and fourth one is gallery and the fifth one is sign up button okay let us just save the document and refresh it okay fine come here now we'll start styling our html document before styling it we need to link our H css to html so rel will be style sheet and hyperlink reference will be style.css since it is in the same folder just specify the name okay style.css close the tag okay first i will remove all the default margin and paddings margin 0 padding 0 and i will use box sizing as border box okay just refresh it you can see margin and padding disappear now i'll target html element inside the html first one will be background color i'm going to use a white color for the background the color of the text will be a gray color with equal rgb values i'm going to use font family as sans serif okay next one is font size i'm going to use 20 pixel this is my root element i am going to give font size 
to other elements by taking the reference of this and the font weight will be 300 just refresh it you can see the style has been applied and now I'll target header copy the header and let's target the header element so first I'm going to give a, a background image okay URL just specify the name since it is in the same folder background.jpg okay let us just refresh it you can see added but it is not at the proper position so let us bring it to proper position by adding properties background size and background position background size will be cover background position will be center now our image should come into the proper position let us see by refreshing it it has come to proper position but it is not having a proper height so let us define the height so height will be 100% viewport height save it and refresh it you can see the image has been added properly but it is little brighter for that I am going to use a property called linear gradient so that I can mask a little bit so that it appears beautiful so for that I am going to use a linear gradient property with the RGB value the black color and the opacity will be 0.7 so this is 0.8 actually I want to give 0.7 okay don't forget to put a comma here refresh it okay now it is looking proper next I'll style logo so let us give the class name as logo just copy the class name and come to CSS okay come to CSS and let us start styling the logo first let us give some width and height so I will give a width of 100 pixels and height also 100 pixels then I want my logo to be on the left side that's why I'm using a property called float left okay let us refresh it you can see all the elements have come to the left now let us target the main nav so main nav I want it to be on the right side that's why I am using a property called float right so it will move to the right let us see yes it has moved but okay fine so next what we are going to do is we will remove all the bullets which are there for that I am going to use list style none let us see okay fine all the bullets have been removed but both elements have been at the edge of the box for that I want to have some padding between the edge and the elements for that I'm going to style my container box I'll give for my container box I'll give a width of 100% and margin 0 and auto it will bring to the center then I'll add some padding top and bottom I want to padding of 0 and left and right I want 50 pixels let us refresh it yes there is a gap between the elements and the edge okay let us start styling our list items so first property which I'm going to use is display inline block okay let us refresh it now everything has been aligned properly but we'll give a margin because it is very close to each other margin left of 40 pixel so each element will have a left margin of 40 pixel let us see okay margin has been added it looks good now but we have to add some more properties to make it clean so then I'm going to have a margin top of 40 pixel 
because it is at the edge and I will add margin top to my logo also because both element have to be positioned properly so everything is correct now now let us start styling our anchor tag so for that I'm going to use class name list item and link inside that first thing what I'm going to use is I'm going to remove the bottom border that is text decoration none and then text transform uppercase I want all the navigation elements to be in the uppercase text transform uppercase okay then color of the text will be white let us refresh it properties has been added now let us add some font size I want the font size to be 0.9 rem that is 0.9 of 90 percent of the root element my root element is html that is having 20 pixels and this will be having 90 percent of that so the next thing is I want to add some hover effect for that we need to use four states that is first is unvisited visited hover active so first two states will be unvisited and visited will be having the same properties which I have defined I'll add some more properties to it and hover and active when you hover over the uh, navigation elements it should have some border bottom for that I'm going to use hover and active active means at the point of clicking I'm going to use same styling to hover and active so that is border bottom of 2 pixel solid and I have already selected the color so this is my color so copy the code and paste it here okay let us see refresh it and yes it is added but we need some padding at the bottom so that it looks good I'll add a padding of 8 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right let us save and refresh it okay now effect has been added properly now what we'll do is we'll add some transition means a delay timer so that it looks smooth so for the border bottom I'm going to add a 0.2 seconds let us see yes it has been added but let us make more smooth I know why it is behaving like that let us add border bottom with the two pixel solid and transparent so that uh, the transition will be very smooth from transparent to a uh, specified color which we are given here okay refresh it yes ah, it's very smooth now fine the only thing which is remaining is now the company tagline so this is the, this is remaining we will develop this section in the next part thank you for watching if you like the content please consider us subscribing keep supporting us to bring quality content thank you once again <laughs>